Hey, I'm Aaron Solar here. Welcome back to another video. Today, I wanted to do sort of a Destiny news update type of video. Uh, yesterday, about actually a whole 24 hours ago, Bungie released a um, sort of this featured um, update, like blog post right here, called The Road Ahead, March and Beyond. And uh, I'm just going to read through this, do a little speculation. And a little reflecting based on what this says. I've already read through it before, but uh, yeah. Basically, they um, said that they're having the final event for Destiny, and it's going to be called the Age of Triumph, and they intend for it to be a fun and memorable celebration that will bring the first major chapter of our Destiny adventures to a fitting close. Uh, it's a little sad to know that Destiny 1's sort of cycle's ending, but we have Destiny 2 to look for, uh, most likely a reveal at the end of uh, July, sort of at E3, probably, uh, considering Activision's gonna have a huge booth there if you haven't seen the leaked uh, schematics for the floor plan. But yeah, um, also, they uh, had a couple notes that they wanted to do about Destiny's first full sequel. Uh, they say they represent the start of a new adventure for every player, new worlds to explore, stories to tell, and powers to acquire, a new loot to earn, uh, so that led them to the decision that your power, possessions, and Eververse related items will not carry forward, um, but they'll remain in Destiny 1, and also your uh, class, race, gender, face, hair, whatever, that will all um, carry forward if you have completed the Black Garden story mission and reached level 20. So yeah, that's going to be uh, basically, our first little bit of Destiny 2 news directly from Bungie, um, like, calling it the first full sequel. Uh, also, they said that they're going to deliver the Age of Triumph at the end of March. They're going to deliver the Age of Triumph at the end of March before they reveal more details on Destiny 2. So they're also doing uh, reveal streams for Destiny uh, starting next week. Wednesday, March 8th, they're doing the Age of Triumph reveal, and all of this seems to have one common theme, um, which is bolted glass and raids, sort of like a huge throwback. Like they set up here, they wanted it to be a, um, I guess let me find it, they'll be in the first major chapter to a fitting close, so fitting, I feel like they're going to go back and do a bunch of their old stuff, bring it all back so everyone can play it and enjoy it while they can before Destiny 2 is released. So obviously here you have the entrance to the Vault of Glass. That's going to be just the normal reveal on March 8th, next Wednesday. Uh, I'll do a recap after every single one of those streams. Um, I'll try to watch it as fast as I can after my classes are done for that day, and then I'll upload a recap video, even though probably not many people are going to watch it as there's a lot more Destiny news channels out there. Uh, also we have then uh, the Age of Triumph weekly rituals, which we don't really know anything about what this is yet. Uh, but the date is Wednesday, March 15th, and you just see the normal sort of four things you have here. The Daily Crucible, Daily Story Mission, uh, Heroic Strikes, and the Nightfall Strike. But then also, here we have the uh, what looks to be like, or these are all weekly, I don't know if I said Daily Nightfall, something like that. But then we also have the addition of the Prison of Elders logo right here, uh, that being a weekly ritual, I'm assuming. And then the Raid logo. So maybe each week they will have um, the old raids come back with probably like new modifiers, uh, different awards, maybe even challenge modes to the old raids. Um, that'd be pretty cool. That's personally what I think they're going to do is add challenge modes and um, different modifiers to Prison of Elders and the raids, which would be pretty sweet, uh, personally in my opinion. Lastly, here we have the Age of Triumph March Sandbox, or the Age of Triumph Sandbox update uh, on Wednesday, March 22nd. This also has a picture of a hunter in what looks could be the new Vault of Glass gear. Um, it looks very Vex inspired, and he is in the Vault of Glass right here, as you can see with the background and the rocks on the bottom here. But this Sandbox update will probably just detail uh, either weapon balance, uh, new armor and stuff that they're adding. Um, I forget what the other sandbox updates were, but I know when they did a sandbox update for the April, uh, the April update that came out last year, they did a um, sort of thing like this, but they just revealed they were sort of just in a custom game, like a dev space, and they were just showing off the new weapons and stuff. 
So that's probably what we're going to see for that. Uh, but personally, I do believe this will be the new, I guess, sort of hunter armor for Vault of Glass. Uh, if they bring Vault of Glass back, he sort of got a metal arm or a metal leg with a normal one and then uh, like a Ahamkara type, like a spine thing on his arm. Looks pretty cool to me, uh, but we'll have to wait and see on Wednesday what all this stuff sort of means. So, uh, yeah, I just wanted to make this video because Destiny's always been the main sort of focus of my channel. That's why I started YouTube, is I just wanted to make Destiny videos for people. And we've sort of been growing a following, over 100 subscribers. I can't thank you guys enough for the support. Uh, we've been growing a couple subs a day, which um, is not as fast as we used to be. But uh, we're getting there, so if we can hit maybe like 200 subs by the start of the summer, if I keep pumping out videos for you guys, um, we've been getting a lot of views in the past couple videos, so I can't thank you guys enough for that, and I hope, I guess, people watch these videos so I can experience the end of Destiny 1 and the beginning of Destiny 2 with some other people that uh, watch my videos. And so, yeah, I just wanted to thank you guys for watching this little update video. Uh, if you haven't seen anything already from other people that have probably made well better edited and stuff videos than I have. But uh, yeah, that's going to do it for me. Make sure to drop a like if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe if you're new to the channel and you like this type of content. And follow my Twitch channel uh, in the description down below. I do Destiny streams sometimes to try to get that um, Can't Stop the Signal emblem that you get for 77 hours of streaming. So that'll be pretty sweet. Uh, but yeah, that's going to do it for me, and I'll see you guys in the next one.